Roger Glasgow at the Old Chronicle building in Coleraine for the Great Christmas Giveaway NA. Roger, can you tell us a bit more about the Great Christmas Giveaway and uh, how the idea was thought of? Yeah, so pretty much just towards the end of October, um, my wife and I had the idea. We just thought this has been such a hard year for so many people in Northern Ireland. So we thought that while we've got uh, this building for a while, um, that we would try and fill a room in it with toys for children from the age of 0 to 18 um, who might have nothing this year uh, in Northern Ireland. So we just created a video and put it up on social media asking that if anybody was out shopping that they would just maybe buy one extra gift if they were able to and from that just drop it off here at the building. And then also just if they were shopping online they could send something uh, to an address as well for us to start to gather and from that loads of stuff has been sent in. The community has been incredible getting behind it. And I believe there's um, further drop-off points within the Triangle area. Can you tell us whereabouts they are? Yeah, so obviously this building here is one of the drop-offs. We're open here on Tuesdays from half five till 8 p.m. and also on Sunday from four to half five. Uh, some other incredible places have been so kind in offering to be drop-offs as well. So there's Tesco and Port Stewart. If you want to just go to the customer service desk there, you can leave something in. Also Work Steli in Port Stewart as well. Anytime they're open, obviously at the minute they're open for takeaway coffees and things, so you can leave things in there. And Indigo Cafe in Port Rush is also one of the drop offs. And Roger, can you tell us uh, where the gifts are being donated to this year and the partners that you're teaming up with? Yeah, for sure. So we have linked with the food banks, local food banks in Northern Ireland. So obviously, there's a lot of families out there who are really struggling. Um, so there's children in those families, and we know that if they're struggling to get food and pay different bills that they're really going to struggle to get um, toys. So the food banks are one of the places also Action for Children. There are so many children out there that they work with who just may go through uh, Christmas with nothing. So we want to give stuff to them as well and they can distribute it out. There's also some local families who have contacted us with their own personal stories. So we are keeping some of those just for this area here as well. But those are the so food banks and Action for Children are the two main ones. And the closing date of uh, accepting donations, when can uh, people drop off their donations? So yes, so the uh, final drop off here in the building will be on the 8th of December. And then we're asking for all just donations and the other drop offs to finish on the 10th. That just gives us time to collect everything in, sort it into different age categories for the different children and distribute it out to the food banks and to Action for Children. Roger, uh, thanks very much for talking with us on the Causeway Coast and uh, all the best with the great Christmas giveaway. No problem, thank you.